Hello there. In this session, we are going to look at the applications of reactivity, and we need to acknowledge that reactivity is an important process that, apart from its dangers, we can use it effectively in medicine, in agriculture, in industry, and even in carbon dating uh, through archaeological and paleontological processes. So, number one application of reactivity is in medicine. Uh, under medicine, we can apply radioactivity. One in the sterilization of surgical equipment. Uh, namely, blades and needles. Uh, number two, we can use it in the X-ray radiography, where we capture the images of the internal organs of our body using X-rays. And uh, number three, we can use it in the treatment of cancer. Of cancer. For example, here we use cobalt 60. Uh, we can also use it in the treatment of thyroid malfunction. In this case, we use iodine 131. Uh, we can use it in the healing. of broken or fractured bone st structures. It's more effective than uh, the cluster of Paris simply because it takes a shorter duration of time to multiply the cells and heal the bone fractures. Uh, we can also use it to stimulate the heart face setters. Good, to stimulate the heart face setters. Uh, number two, in agriculture, uh, let me call it agricultural use, yeah, so in agriculture, uh, we use it to detect a nutrient deficiency. In soil, number two, we use it to infix a nutrients. Fixing into the soil. Uh, number three, uh, we can use it to enhance the growth spurt of plants, to enhance our growth spurt of pruned plants. Uh, number four, three section but from the medicinal use or uh, the use in medical processes and the use in agricultural processes we can use it in industrial processes so number three the industrial use for the industrial use one can use it to sterilize our food cans. Uh, we can use it to gauge the thickness of what you call paper, wood, metal.
simulators and the class uh, we can also use it in what is known as barcode reading in barcode reading we find that we use it uh, we use symbols to quantify values like 15 20 are used in supermarkets good so we can also use it to detect leaks in underground pipes detection of leaks in underground pipes so those are the applications in industry Uh, apart from this, we have application in archaeology and paleontology. Uh, in this case, this is carbon dating. And in carbon dating, uh, we have the half-life of carbon-14 as 5,600 years. In other words, it takes uh, 5,600 years for carbon-14 to decay completely in a given fossil species. So those are the key applications of uh, radioactivity we have said that we can use it in medicine in industry in agriculture and in archaeological and paleontological studies through carbon dating